I'm going to show you how to connect a servo gimbal to an APM. So basically, once you have the gimbal mounted, you're going to run the wires, and this is the power and ground wire from the, the pitch, and this is the power and ground from the roll servo. And as you can see, I took out the signal wire, which is these two right here. So basically what you want to do is plug these, the power end of the servos, into your outputs. Uh, that's the same side that the motor connections are. And it doesn't matter which, which one you put it in. Um, so you can put it in any one of them. So let me attach this one. I have the other one in already. All right. So that's going to power it. And um, let me remind you, you're going to need a power module to power the input side. And then you're going to need either a, a Beck or you could use the power coming from one of your uh, speed controllers to power this. So you can have two different power sources. But you can't just you can't have the servos run off of uh, just one power source for the whole APM because it might cause a brownout. So that's why I have two different ones. The power module is powering the input side, and then these, this red and black, which is from one of my speed controllers, is powering the output, which is connected with my servos. All right. Since you have that connected, you're going to take the two signal wires and you're going to connect them to RC10 and 11 on the APM. So basically, um, starting with A0, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, number 10, I connect my pitch. And then uh, number 11, I connect the roll servo. And that's uh, basically it for connecting it to the APM. And all you have to do now is go into Mission Planner, go to Optional Hardware, and uh, go to Gimbal, and you could uh, set the output channels and the input channels and, uh, and everything else. Alright, thank you.